this might be the most unique terraria mod that exists it adds in tons of unique bosses and on top of that it has in-game challenges you could complete for new rewards and don't even get me started on some of the unique weapons from the mod you're just gonna have to see those for yourself throughout the video let's check out the mod today we're here checking out the game terraria mod i know it's an interesting name whoa i'm just chilling here in the snow legion i'm getting jumped what is going on dudes are getting picked up and stuff no this is perfect this is exactly how i wanted this to start off we got the frost legion and guess what this mod adds in a boss to the frost legion which is amazing and exciting what happened okay the frost legion made their way over here let's start off with this though we got a snow angel that's literally picking up the snowman gangster kind of like an aerial support type character now and then we got mr stabby he bouncing around and stuff this is sick if you've been following the channel for a minute you know how much i hate that the snow legion has gotten no love since this came out so anything that adds new content to it you already get some love and support from me but here's the thing we're not here to exactly see all these guys as cool as they are we're here to see boom the snow dawn yes sir i get it like snowed on you got snowed on this dude got sick animations look at him stomping around what is this attack gigantic like ice breath okay he throwing little punches here bro he looks sick the way he moves kind of reminds me of uh i guess the deer clops i don't know i haven't seen the deer, deer clops in a minute so i really don't <laughs> or if you remember that terraria jungle bosses overhaul where the golem would move like this he's got seventeen thousand health this is a new world he kind of just spawned out of nowhere so i wonder if he's a pretty hard mode boss now who knows either way let's do some damage i think we've seen all his attacks we can hit like all of his body parts except for like his chest and his head so i wonder does breaking it oh my god breaking it he gets a different moving animation nice little detail he's hopping around what if i break both of his legs there you go i broke both of his legs oh he just starts flying now <laughs> i thought he was gonna start like pulling himself around crawling around oh there goes hands my boy just turned into a, a big ass snowball that's it you don't do nothing <laughs> oh it eventually comes back with the that's kind of cool you know what that reminds me of kind of reminds me of reminds me of uh lepus if you don't break lepus's eggs quickly and it'll just spawn another lepus wait we can hit its head now what does that mean if i just hit its head was i able to hit its head before and i just wasn't paying attention i have no idea but yeah we could do our little damage try and kill him before uh his legs and stuff grow back and boom do you want to slay a snowman beautiful amazing was a sick boss to see i just love new snow legion content man what did he drop me oh my god look at that he dropped me ice blocks slush blocks snow blocks he did drop frost core but i was definitely Definitely expecting way more in terms of drops hey there is some new stuff we can make though but yeah this mod is very sick it's a very unique tinier mod which i think i appreciate more than just gigantic tons of content mods is ones like this let's continue checking out the bosses though i believe there's three other cool bosses to check out let's see the next one we're here in the desert because i feel like this is a good place to fight this next one a hornlet which is apparently like a super fast lizard look how tiny he is not that intimidating because of his size but the speed might be scary it's gonna be like fighting the flash he moving though i respect it 12k health that's a decent amount of health for here in master mode i like the little like lightning and thunder noises that are also playing in the back Background. gives the fight a little bit more ambience this definitely seems like this would be a hard boss to fly around and fight but yeah he's got some cool attacks it's straight up like a speed fight i don't know if there's much to learn in terms of uh patterns and stuff because he's moving like you really gotta stay on the move the whole time even then it looks like some of these are gonna hit you no matter what where did he go oh i think it's my favorite attack that little like teleport away attack he does but yeah that was a nice little smaller i would say that's like more of a mini boss than a full boss after that i believe we got this dude little shark lad oh my god look at him he can never do any serious damage he's so tiny what would this dude do to me i'm sorry shark lad i'm gonna have to beat you the hell up oh he split into two of them one of them is literally in the floor okay interesting well, he split into three of them actually oh there you go there's the third one doesn't seem uh too bad of a fight these projectiles don't seem like they're going away though so that could be a little something something in this fight i don't know they disappear i don't know then yeah let's go ahead let's finish him off gigantic explosion ew and this is the reward i get bro i don't like that boss anymore all right if you have noticed there is a sun that looks a little bit different watching us in the sky there and i got this megaphone here we're gonna go ahead and scream into the megaphone to get its attention hey babe what's up let's fight oh shoot stofy 
Stoffy? I don't know. Whoa, I'm just dropping like a rock. I'm not allowed to fly? That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not allowed to fly at all. So we're literally fighting the sun. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to do this without being able to fly. <laughs> There's a lot of projectiles. I can't move at all. Okay, I got my grappling hook. So if I had like a full arena set up, yeah, I could probably move around. Boss looks sick though. Reminds me of like, uh, was it Super Mario Bros. 3? Remember when the sun would attack you? Yeah, that's what this reminds me of, especially the way he's moving. Like, ain't that literally how he moves? But this is pretty cool. Let's see all the attacks. We're in master mode. It's got 450,000 health. God damn. Let's start doing some damage though. He's so happy. It's like, I almost don't want to beat him up. This health bar is insane though. Like, <laughs> I, I might have to put on some armor or some accessories or something. Dude's health is barely moving. All right, we're on the last little bit of health here of the boss. The fight didn't change up like at all, which is a little bit upsetting. I expected a little bit more uniqueness from that fight, but there you go. Okay, stop, stop. Phew, that was intense. Screams are echoing from the dungeon. What the heck? Do I need to like kill him for boss progression or game progression? But yeah, there you go. He is gone. Again, it's a little bit upsetting. The fight didn't change up that much. I'm going to watch another person's video just to make sure that I didn't mess anything up because presentation of that boss was sick, but actual fight was kind of eh. All right, we're moving on to one of the more interesting parts of this mod, and that is there's actually in-game challenges you could do. Now, if the UI looks any different or if the resolution looks different, it's because my game was tweaking, so I had to change, go into windowed mode, change the UI size and a bunch of things just to make sure this works. But yeah, you talk to this new NPC, Revolver Axolotl. We talk to him about challenges and then we do this one, promotion day. Some similar foes have been recognized by the higher ups for their hard work and their raises are being taken out of your paycheck. Fight a selection of enemies as if there were mini bosses, rewards you with advanced combat techniques and some money. Should I miss the crabs? All right, let's get it. Giant cursed skulls, that's what we're fighting. So let's choose some weapons that would match up well. Oh, we got some kind of eh weapons if I'm being honest with you. I guess let's do this and then for the last one, I give myself a melee weapon and boom bada bing. So now we're stuck with this uh, sort of fixed camera. Oh, I'm in God mode. I should probably hop out of God mode. We got this fixed camera and the goal is to beat cursed skulls. Oh, don't get hit though. I can't get their timing down. I legit cannot get his timing down. Maybe I do gotta turn on God mode. I suck at this. Now y'all be seeing why I don't be doing no crazy terraria challenges. Boom, we got one. Next, Stroller? Hello? These are hard mode enemies, are they not? <laughs> okay, let's try again. They didn't even heal my health. Okay, he only has 500. It's doable until that happens. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We don't, they don't even give us a lot of mana to work with. Is it just because I didn't upgrade my character in this world? I have no idea. <laughs> don't remember this dude's AI off the top of my head. We got it though. Jungle Mimic. Interesting. <laughs> this dude technically don't exist. Well, I guess he does now 1.4, right? Oh, I have a double jump. <laughs> Do I really have a double jump this whole time? And I'm just finding this out. Last but not least is a sand elemental, which is very, very interesting. Is this just one spike ball? Give me that. Don't just be one spike ball. Dude, it was literally one spike ball. <laughs> Desert elemental, but she only has 500 health. I feel like this is doable. We just gotta play to our strengths, AKA good spacing. That's our strengths. We played that out, we're good. Oh, I was trying to make it, but it don't matter. It didn't matter. Challenge complete. Where's my loot at, Mr. Axolotl? Redeem two rewards like that. Advanced combat techniques and some shmoney. But yeah, that is very cool. I kind of want to see the other two challenges. Let's see if I can unlock them. All right, unlock the next challenge, which is Corrupted Mine. We got to fight the eater and the brain at the same time. And we get loot from both. So this could be a nice little way to get the alternative loot. Yo, what is that? I get custom weapons from the mod? I got to use them. I got to use them. There's no way I'm not going to use them. Let's get a melee weapon just in case. So you never know when you know stuff can get crazy it won't let me choose a melee weapon i hope it's not bugging out uh things bugging out y'all <laughs> this is the one thing i've no wait i heard something this is the one thing i've noticed with these challenges is they're a little buggy sometimes all right what do we got here this is our arena okay it's not really an arena we got this cool pistol bangerang wait does that mean i could throw it y'all could throw it with right click and it's a <laughs> pretty sick already seeing the the weaponry from the mod is as creative as the mod itself what is this is this like a attack that like ness from smash bros my bad ness from mother would have earthbound i still want to play earthbound eventually that's like a deep backlog game it's a cool idea you get some uh obviously the loot from both corruption and crimson if you do it that's an alternative way to get some loot i like this and the last challenge here is a boss rush i believe it only goes up to the wall of flesh right now because it's a work in progress let's see it we gotta see it do i even gotta choose anything i kind of just want to come here and look at it so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna choose all the summons <laughs> 
as a joke. I'm gonna be in God mode. I should be in God mode. I just want to see the little arena they give you. Okay, you get a little grappling hook. That's a good thing. You can't like look at your inventory or anything. It's pretty crazy. Nice little arena. Not bad. I wonder how the wall of flesh works in this. Does it just like start you on the left and you got to kill it before it reaches the right? <laughs> no clue that's actually kind of funny but yeah again challenges are sick let's go ahead and cover the last couple things i want to cover in this mod this mod adds in a golf class that's right a thing that should have been in terraria from the start i originally thought that when they showed off golfing that there was gonna be a golf class and to all of our surprises i because i know a couple of us thought that way to all of us surprises there was no golf class and it really made me sad and upset as we can see we got golf damage we got some clubs here uh let me go ahead and get a ball does the mod add in different types of balls yeah look at that blitz ball life ball pinky ball quake ball space ball volleyball now which one of these does something cool hits nearby grounded foes whenever it hits the ground or lands in a cup let's do it let's just launch a ball i forgot how to even golf in this game that's how unused of a feature it is to me all right boom i dropped the ball down now let me line that baby up and hit him this is the greatest class ever it's not exactly the most practical but <laughs> this is what it should have been just a hilarious pointless class it didn't even have to be a custom class it could have just been range damage but this is what i wanted a golf class baby look at that oh the double bounce and now my weapon's up here what if i just drop it on his head top there you go. The little uh, extra bounce damage it did. Let me see the other balls. The pinky ball is unaffected by drag. Is it like, I don't even know how I'm supposed to use this. Travels at light speeds. So you tell me if I place this baby here. Whoa, what the hell? I could just place it in the air. <laughs> Whoa, this one just stays in the air, bro. That's kind of sick. I don't know how the hell this would work <laughs> in the actual class. It's how you know it's a joke class. I don't know how this would work in the actual class, but this is amazing. But yeah, there's a couple accessories scattered around. There's even an emblem. It's, it's really just going to be an amazing thing to mess with. As we can see by all the, the cool stuff that they got. There's even a rock. Can we use a rock as a golf ball? We're like, what is this? Boom. We got the spirit sphere out. I just need to get into the cup. What the heck kind of movement is that? What the f How am I supposed to get this into a cup? I might have to just put like seven cups over here. There you go. I put a cup down here. Oh. You saw they launched a projectile. So yeah, there, there's some cool stuff you can really do with this golf class. And I'm very excited to see it expanded upon. All right, so checking in on some of the weapons, I grabbed a random one. Frost Flurry, look at that. It's a nice little like dragon skull on our head. A little type of flamethrower here, kind of cool. We got the big boy, which does range damage. Let's see how this works here. 10 second cooldown per shot. Fires three arcing rockets. Three? Am I tweaking? Was that three? Okay, it charged back up oh okay that, that really was three so it does 300 percent damage on direct hit 200 percent otherwise so if we miss it does less damage but if we hit it directly it does more damage okay an interesting little thing let's just grab some more random stuff here flare up staff what does this do do i have enough mana to use it pops out of five of your closest flares what the is a flare weapon okay sure let me bring out some flares now the question is okay i gotta shoot flares onto the floor here because they don't stay in enemies and then we have the king slime jump on us boom pop the flares that is unique to say the least a flare weapon <laughs> i've seen flare weapons that doesn't surprise me but a weapon that pops flares we got the hexa bow this is from a game i don't know what game but it's from something boom it does a little combo attack if we land multiple hits okay and then we got this devil scepter which i'm not even reading hey maybe you get this from doing the little brain and i could do or uh brain and eater challenge because uh it, it's got a little brain or corruption and crimson sort of look to it you know we got a vibro cutter hold to rapidly rapidly accelerate let go to swing and dash backwards click again to keep swinging okay let's see it so if i just hold left click i dash and if I let go mid attack, we go backwards. Okay, very interesting. Now I'm noticing there's a bunch of weapons in here that say use five seconds of flow or uses flow. I have no idea what flow is, so we're gonna have to figure that out. But let me just grab a couple more weapons here. We got blood spray. Oh, this hurts me to do damage. Binding by is like an item. Thunder crack, little whip, a really fast one. Fires another arcing rocket, okay. And then we got the quick spin fuser. 
fires an explosive disc that can launch you. Whoa. That can launch me? Oh, it's a little rocket jump type stuff here. We got this flail. Can be used with other items. What the hell does that mean? That's a interesting... Yo! So I can have it with me while using a completely different weapon. That's kind of sick. This is like a conjoined or whatever the hell it's called from Binding of Isaac. Gemini, there you go. I keep on referencing Binding of Isaac because I've been playing it a lot. And then we got this bow, light speed arrows. Let me read into what flow is because there's some very cool items that are mentioned in flow in here. So we're checking out this other feature called flow weapons, something like that. Flow is pretty much a new thing in this mod where you gain sort of like a mana i don't know a type of mana the longer you're in combat but it's so specific like i even talked to the developer about it because i had no clue how to get it started but you have to like have a weapon that has cooldown and then you have to be in a fight with enemies and you see the little the little square around my mouse that's flow i know confusing but look at this this is the funny part boom let's play how do i play i don't know move something okay there goes all my flow so as you can see it's a little confusing a little bit eh, of a feature i know very older versions of this mod have uh, no flow at all and you're allowed to just use these weapons freely the thing is they're really cool weapons it's just i don't know if i'm messing with the flow part of it and also every time i pop open this bejeweled board tetris board whatever you want to call it i don't even know how to move things around like how do you move things around in this <laughs> like you hear me clicking but let's try some of the other weapons here we'll try a uh, slime rain stick target the closest enemy to the cursor click on slimes jumping from the bottom of the screen to launch them at the target like that sounds incredibly cool but now i just gotta sit here and charge up my uh flow flow is charged let's use the slime rain stick whoa 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 this is kind of hard to do bro bro that i only clicked on two slimes yeah as you see it is very unique when it does work we literally played a mini game like a WarioWare mini game to do damage let's uh let's bring out a weaker enemy so i can actually see the damage of that because that's pretty sick all right here we go here we go here we go i'm spamming i'm spamming i haven't clicked on a single one I literally clicked on one. <laughs> and then let's see like one or two more weapons from this because this does take a while to charge this up. Okay, I brought in a bunch of nail heads. That's where we're going to test out these weapons on. Let's start with this one. I think this one just grabs somebody. Oh, yeah? So you grab them and then you do a little like five piece combo on them depending on how much you can get uh, clicks off. And then we got one more, the whirlwind, the whirlwind boomerang. All right, let's see it in action. Spin the cursor in a circle for three seconds then throw one to three boomerangs. Boom. There you go. I spun it and look at that. The boomerang went around, didn't even hit a single thing. So as you can see, it is very unique, the weapons that use flow. But the only problem is it seems like they're really inconsistent and they don't like actually work half the time. I figured out the bejeweled board is WASD. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not getting a match, but I actually figured it out. Thank God. That is one thing about this mod is there's barely any info about it. That was the game Terraria mod. Probably one of the more unique Terraria mods that exists. It's got a lot of cool content in it. Obviously, my favorite is still the giant snowman, aka my boy, the snow dawn. What, what do I spawn him with? That. Boom. There is one more thing in this mod. Worm given divine blessing by the invertebrate patron saint. I'm about to spawn this in, but first let's spawn this in. Soldier. Is this a risk of rain enemy? I don't know. It looks like one. And then the giant worm. Let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> is this a giant gummy worm or are these actually just giant worms? This is pretty insane. I don't know what the hell this is going to be when this fully comes out as content, but uh, it looks very interesting as we can see. Very, very unique and cool. Let's kill them off because I think there's a cutscene if we kill them off. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God straight to credits <laughs> what the heck is like i'm watching a movie be yeah, a shout out to the developers that worked on the mod make sure to check it out make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on notifications all that good stuff so you can always catch whatever i post and make sure y'all follow the twitch we're about to start when you see this video we're probably gonna start that day you see this video but we're doing a big terraria mod pack just like the old days on twitch and i'll highlight the streams and i'll post them on the main channel and obviously post the full streams on my second channel too we have videos popping up on the screen. I'll see y'all next time.